Fresh from their first continental win of the season, Wren returned to league action with the visit of Orzea to Rosen Park in the weekend's penultimate game. The Magnesio side opened their Europa League campaign with a 2-1 success away to Larnaca in midweek, after a frustrating draw with 10-man Tois last weekend. As for Agia, their promising early performances upon their return to the top flight have faltered with back-to-back -back defeats, but they were still in a solid mid-table spot coming into the weekend. They were not on level terms for very long though, Dean Sulemana picking up the ball on the left, driving into the box and finding the bottom corner after just three minutes. The eight goals scored in the first five minutes so far this season, three have been conceded by Orzea. Sulemana and Wren nearly got their second soon after. The Ghanaian running onto a through ball round Benoit Costil, but denied by a sliding goal and clearance from Paul Jolie. Chances kept coming. Another nice through ball, and Martin Terrier also testing Costil. Visitors did finally get down the other end late in the half. A nice one too, allowing the space to pick out Matthias Autre, who forced a decent save from Steve Mandanda. The 31-year-old not able to add to his two goals so far this season. So Ren in the lead and in control at the break. 90 years to the day after they played and won their first ever match in the French top flight, beating Mess 2-1. Flaviante brought on in place of goal scorer Sulemana for the second half. There would be plenty more goals to come. On the hour mark, Alexandre Kerf far too casual in possession. I mean Guiri stealing the ball and then making no mistake with the finish. Good opportunism by the former Nice man. A clinical strike into the bottom corner for his first goal in red colours, ending a run of 20 matches and 36 shots without a league goal. Shortly after, any remaining doubt will be put to bed. A nice through ball releasing Guiri, whose cross was deflected, but nonetheless fell perfectly into the path of Terrier for his third goal of the campaign. And there will be a fourth for the home side. Steve Mandanda with a quick goal kick, releasing Tate. And the substitute holding off the defender. Knocking it past Costil and just able to sneak it inside the near post. Costil looking defeated. Genesio delighted, as was his keeper. Perfectly timed from Mandanda. Catching Tate just before the halfway line. In a career now almost two decades long. First ever assist for the veteran keeper. Another change saw Matisse Ablin brought on for the final five minutes. Jose's pain wasn't over just yet. Players queuing up to get number five. Two shots blocked. Eventually, Ablin firing home. The teenagers' first league goal for Ren, having notched up six on loan at Le Havre in the second tier last campaign. A five-star performance sees Le Rene move up to sixth, just two points behind Lyon in the European spots. A third straight defeat for Auxerre sees them slip towards the drop zone.